It may be April Fool's, but there will be no surprises in this week's commentary, just to talk about the foolishness of not defining your goals. So as I said, no surprises in this week's commentary, but something that's been uh, on my mind, particularly of late, uh, given some uh, losses of dear friends and clients and things like that, is really the foolishness of not defining uh, one's goals and achieving them. You see these lives uh, where people accomplish so, so much, and, and then you see some stories where people put things off for tomorrow, uh, all sorts of dreams and goals. Um, and never get the chance to achieve them. Life, life intervenes, uh, and we've seen plenty of that the last couple of years. Any of us, again, left to our own devices, um, think we'll be able to achieve a lot of things without uh, defining them, think we can go it along, or again, make the assumption that there's always a tomorrow. I wanna talk about three key elements around helping people achieve their goals. Number one is really what our mission here is at 10 Capital. Uh, point two, some important facts around how one achieves goals. And lastly, really what specifically we do as part of our process to help our clients achieve their goals, both financial as well as those that just need finances to help bring them uh, into existence. So what is our mission here at 10 Capital? Simply put, we wanna help uh, people le live their best lives. Uh, my fear again is that people assume that that's just gonna happen. Uh, my hope uh, comes from the fact that I know that with a little bit of effort, you can bring so much more into reality than even you might have thought possible. So point number two, what are some important facts around achieving goals? Well, I found a great study uh, from the Harvard Business School uh, that had the following uh, that they discovered. Number one, uh, unless you think this wasn't an important topic, 83% of us have not uh, defined our goals out there. Those who do take the time to define their goals are 10 times as likely to be successful. Those who will memorialize them, written or otherwise, are three times more likely than those who may have a goal but don't take the time uh, to put it down. And accountability in the form of a third party can help uh, improve one's odds of success by up to 40%. Now for us, that accountability uh, when it comes to our process can be us here at 10 Capital. It can also be, and we found someone's spouse. Yeah, you've, you've known each other well. You may know a lot of the goals and dreams and fears, of course, but there's just this interesting dynamic when you enter a third party into that person uh, that we've heard uh, time and time again, something along the lines of, I didn't realize how important that was to you. I didn't realize that's what you meant by that or where that might've come from. All of which again are critical, not only for general understanding, but the types of accountability they're gonna help people take something from a wish or want and turn it into a reality. Why beyond just the statistics of this is it so important? What did these studies uncover? Well, setting goals again helps you crystallize uh, what's important to you. Uh, when people have come into 10 Capital to talk about our planning process, uh, they've often said when we tell them a little bit about the Cornerstone converse, uh, conversation process, you know, I, I think I'm good. We, I think we know what's important to us and values. And that's undoubtedly true on a base level. But the analogy I've done and, and the feedback I've gotten when people have said, yeah, that was different is it's a little bit like the good thought or idea you have in your head that you've never spoken out. And when you've gone to do that for the first time, uh, maybe it's a good joke, maybe it's a dream, a goal, an idea, it's never quite as refined as it sounded in your own head. Um, things start to again take shape as you talk to people about your goals and dreams. They become more real. Uh, you begin to believe them more and these are the reasons for uh, those stats. Last point is our formula for helping you achieve your goals. We talk all the time about purpose, plan, and portfolio. The purpose, again, is where do you wanna go? The plan is how are we gonna get there? And the portfolio is what's gonna help drive uh, that uh, result. When it comes to purpose, which again is really the point of this week's commentary uh, and really the thing that inspired me wanting to talk about it is we get to hear hundreds of stories uh, come alongside hundreds of lives, goals, dreams, fears, and we learn. Uh, we learn uh, things we definitely wanna incorporate into our own lives that we can share uh, with the lives of clients. 
we see and get to experience is one of the best parts of, of our job, the thrill of helping people achieve goal, uh, sending the beloved niece to college, uh, finally achieving retirement, taking that dream vacation, building that uh, dream cabin, whatever it is for people that again has moved them. We also unfortunately get to see uh, times where people put things off. Um, they again make that uh, assumption that I brought up earlier that there's always gonna be a tomorrow. They let the fears or anxieties of today take hold. And so again, this is really the dynamic that I think is at the heart of planning, which is that balance between YOLO, uh, you only uh, live once, apparently a new hip saying, I'm not, uh, I'm neither young nor hip, versus I, I can wait for tomorrow or I'll do it tomorrow. Um, that balance is so important. The first, which really comes from that happiness, let's, let's experience uh, life to the fullest today mindset, which again is great, but can be harnessed. It can lead to some dire financial uh, circumstances versus the protector mindset who wants to uh, certainly be safe, wise, prudent, can lead to some procrastination, and again, never getting to lead. When you define your goals, and then most importantly, define the plan for getting there, you understand where the safe boundaries are uh, if you're of that first mindset, the yellow mindset. For the other, you help achieve some objectives, uh, bring a little bit of accountability in that's going to help you feel like, yes, it's safe to embrace that today, not put it off tomorrow, and again, risk the fear of never getting to achieve it. In summary, uh, working with someone like us uh, is not about making it through life. Plenty of people can make it through life. What we hope to bring is an ability to help you maximize life. And again, that's by embracing that pro uh, process of defining one's purpose, plan, in the portfolio that's gonna get you there. What we hope to bring and what we've heard, uh, again, bring so much fulfillment to us is we can relieve some of that anxiety. Where are the boundaries? What is safe? What is possible? Um, we can help save a lot of time uh, that again, can be better spent for the things that we hear all the time. What are those things that we hear people want to achieve? We wanna spend more time with family. Uh, I wanna grow as a person. Uh, we wanna see you get started on those things uh, today as well. And then lastly, maximizing uh, the results of of all uh, of those goals and dreams that you may have. So to put again, to bring this back, you know, my fear is that we don't seize this moment. And my encouragement to you is that you do, uh, you do that you maximize all the todays uh, uh, that you have. Um, certainly mindful of tomorrow, but not putting everything off uh, until tomorrow. Uh, again, my hope, my encouragement to you as we head into this weekend is just how much is possible. We hear time and time again, brings us great joy. I didn't, I didn't know that was possible, or we feared it was so much worse. Um, relieve yourself of that burden today, get that clarity. Uh, whether you're working with us today or not, we always uh, are honored to come alongside and walk that journey with you. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend.